Okay, the last app case for today is the just more case. Just more is a theory that provides a framework to understand when and if more is an option, okay? Which is a morally acceptable option. Alice, I think you're taking notes now. Just more theory. It's got three stages. Pre-war, during war, post-war. We don't need to worry about these two for this resolution. We want to be arguing on app. See, most people are going to try to avoid this. A lot of teams out there, a lot of, not teams, but a lot of individuals out there might try to come in and say, we want to promote democracy without using any violence. I do not want you guys to say that. I want you guys to go in there and say, yeah, we're going to use violence. We're going to send the troops in there and fight a war. That's what promoting democracy means. Why do you want to do that? Because that makes, make, that puts you in the dominant position, right? If you, if you are letting them chase you around the, the playing fields, saying, like, oh, no, no, that was not quite that, it's not quite this, it's not quite that, and I'm going to parse my way away from committing to anything, I don't have to defend anything, you're going to lose. You're going to say, yes, we're only democracy. Yes, yeah, just what we want to do. Yeah, I mean, we should send some of the army over there and kill them. Correct. Kill ISIS, yes, with the army. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah, promoting democracy. What did they say like a You say you point it, you say, look, you seem to think it's a bad idea, but what I'm telling you is we have a clear set of criteria as to whether or not we should go to war. When we are in the pre-war state and we are asking, should we go to war? <laughs> we have a clear criteria in just war theory. We know that we need the following justifications. The uh, enemy must have committed aggression. Now, you might say aggression first. But remember, when you're responding to aggression, it's not aggression. It's just response to aggression. Aggression implies that it necessarily is first. When you use the word aggression, it means... He committed violence first. That's the meaning of the word aggression. Okay, so the enemy must have committed aggression. It doesn't have to be against you. Now, in order for it to be a just war that you're launching, you have to have no ulterior motives so that, say, I really am attacking him because he attacked me. Not because I want to steal, like, you know, Russia tried to manufacture some things where Ukraine did some stuff, right? So they could justify going into Ukraine and stealing Crimea. But they're, they're, that was, they're, when they said, oh, well, we're, we want to go stop the violence there, what they really meant was, oh, we want to go steal Crimea. That's different than wanting to stop the violence. That's an ulterior motive. You can't have a just war with an ulterior motive. You can't have a just war when alternate solution can be reached. When Your violence that you use has to be proportional. It has to be targeted, which means you can't randomly just bomb a whole city. <laughs> you get one guy. Let's just bomb our whole city. That way we'll get that one guy. Um, it has to be uh, only as much uh, needed to attain the goal. So proportionality 
is different than this in the sense that personality said, well, look, they only attacked you with, with pistols, and then you attack them with nuclear bombs. That's not proportional. That's not a just response to be attacked with a pistol. This one says, um, they attacked you with a pistol, and you not only killed that guy with a club, but you killed his entire family with a club, too. <laughs> That's not, that was more than you needed. That, that toddler wasn't threatening you. Okay, I kind of believe maybe when you say, well, the wife came out with a, with a knife too. So, okay, fine, so you shot her too. But I refuse to believe that newborn baby right there was, was wielding a machete in the dexterous fashion you demonstrated, you know? <laughs> I don't think you had justification to shoot that baby. Okay, so um, these are some of the things we have to consider when we're talking about just war theory. I will... After the break, we will look at, or I'll get, put in Dropbox, the document on Just War Theory, and you can see there's a bunch of, like, latin -y words, like, juice, juice, juice bellum, it would be like, juice, juice ad bellum, that's like, <laughs> justice at, at, in the, before stage, I don't know what all latin shit is, but anyway, the point is, um, when you argue the just war case, this is how you have to argue it. Now, please take notes on this. You have to say the following. We have, so philosophers have, society has, humanity has, over the course of a couple hundred years, put together a model ethics for warfare, a model ethics for violent conflict that explains when and when not it is the correct thing to do to go to war. Just war theory tells us in this case, Case, in no uncertain terms that the just action for this country to take is to go to war. war. Additionally, we know from, from the realities of, uh, of global economics that a stable Middle East will necessarily benefit every other human being on the planet by making economic activity more profitable and making economic activity more likely by making economic activity more widespread by increasing the globalization that benefits us all by redistributing wealth around the globe. So, don't forget, friends, if the war is just and we're going to make money, then we should totally do it. If the war is just and we're going to make money, then we should totally do it. That's the gist of this case. And it is just because I have this theory here, that's why. It says a bunch of rules. See, we meet the rules, therefore we're just. <laughs> Look, what you got to do is you have to establish all the warrants. This is the problem. You have to understand that when you are arguing in any case, you have to come into it with your heart and soul. And you have to say, all right, look, I am going to argue this just war framework is the one we should use. And I'm going to make all my contentions uh, about that. And I'm going to, in my analysis after each of those contentions, I'm going to link it back to the just war theory. I'm going to have cards that are in place explaining why we should use this theory over some others. And I'm going to have cards in place showing why we should use some sort of algorithm that's concrete, like a just war theory algorithm, to determine the matter rather than some sort of mushy ethics, which somebody else is going to try to throw at you, you know? The bottom line is, in all things debate, then set your ground bold, you know? Make them scramble backwards. Don't let them do the battling on your side of the book. When you do something like, well, no, we don't necessarily want to use violence to, you're letting them bring it over to your side of the book. Establish the most you can, then pull back to the least you must have defended to win, if you need to. And that's the end of this topic lecture on Just War Theory. I awesome. hope you enjoy it. What, what do you guys give it? A 10? 10 out of 10 for that topic lecture? Seems kind of sloppy to me. I, I give it a 9 out of 10 because I didn't read some of your words. 9? Not bad. It's still an A-. <laughs> what do you give me, Courtney? 6. <laughs> I give it an 8.5. 8.5. Rockin' a solid B. Each of the teachers is great and going down lower and lower. Alice, what do you get that? Two. <laughs> Two. Uh, harsh. Harsh. Yeah. harsh, Alice. What about you? Uh, what about you? Uh, 
Tough grader. I don't know. I've got a 90%, 85%, and a 20% so far. <laughs> <laughs> the range is everywhere. Just to be grading my... There are so many. My yeah. topic lecture. English. What do you, what's grade, what grade do I get, Kevin? Zero. <laughs> 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 like, um, nine. Ninety? That's an A minus. I got. A, I think I probably squeaked out a B in the class. Maybe if you try. If you average it, what's ninety? <laughs> ninety, ninety, eighty. <laughs> yeah, what's ninety, ninety, eighty-five, and twenty divided by four? Uh, Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Is two sixty five two eighty five two eighty five divided by four? Who knows? You got about a seventy something. That's not a good answer. Seventy something is not whatever. Fine, seventy one point five. Yeah, you got seventy one. Okay, I got a C minus on this. So I'm gonna finish the audience. You still passed. I did. Yeah. I passed. Thank you guys. All because of Alan. <laughs>